Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Madam Nur Hasnelli and Madam Farah Azadini. My name is Alessara Binti Anwar and I would like to start my part in this presentation which is introduction. Firstly, we are going to look at the background of research. Queuing theory can be applied to analyze customer waiting time to develop an efficient system and increase the number of customers that can be served. Fuzzy queuing models are more efficient than classical queuing models in many real situations. Due to the methods derived from fuzzy queuing models are more efficient and flexible. It can be interpreted and more understandable. This research is to select the best performance measures by comparing two methods, which are the SW algorithm and ranking function method. We use mean square error approach to determine the best method by selecting the least value of MSE. This comparison is to minimize the customer waiting time and also for managers to make an optimal decision because it will provide a various set of real values that frankly exist in a real world situation. The model design in this research is multiple channel single phase structure as shown in the figure. As you can see, the customer will arrive in the waiting line to buy the tickets. After the process of buying the tickets is done, they will depart to the designated train platform to their destination. Moving on to the next part which is problem statement. The first problem statement is increasing number of people queuing at ticket counters that cause a delay in service time. Another problem is difficulties for the managers to make an optimal decision as the manager could not allocate accurate service time at the train ticket counters due to the uncertainty involved. Lastly, the SW algorithm and ranking function method both uses different approaches. This will be discussed further in Chapter 3 Methodology. Now, we are going to look at the research objective. The first objective is to evaluate the queuing performance of the SW algorithm and ranking function method at Ticket Windows queuing system. The second objective is to identify the most reliable method between the SW algorithm and ranking function method which can be used in fuzzy queue models at ticket counters in train station. For the last part is scope and limitation. This research is conducted at Kuala Lumpur Central which focus on KTM ticket counters only. There are at least two counters provided by the KTM management for the passengers. This research is also focused on the queuing line during peak hour from 5.30pm until 6.30pm due to the high traffic in the queuing line as people wanted to go home from work. Lastly, the period of this research is conducted for 5 days from 17th of February until 21st of February 2020. That is all from me. Thank you for your kind attention. I will pass this presentation to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Hafifi Azuna Binti Azman and I will present about methodology and implementation of this research. Our methodology consists of three phases. For phase one is data acquisition. The process involved is data collection at KTM counters only during peak hours for five days. And then the data were analyzed using Microsoft Excel to determine its average arrival rate, lambda, and the average service rate at each channel, which is new. Then for phase two, it is step where we convert fuzzy values into crude values that is carried out by using the SW algorithm and ranking function method. Lastly is phase 3. The process involved is performance evaluation. We use trapezoidal fuzzy numbers to represent the result of average number of customers in the system LQ, the average number of customers in the queue waiting for service LS, the average waiting time in the system WQ, and the average waiting time of a customer in the queue waiting for service WS. Then the result of performance measure will visualize in graphical manner by using trapezoidal fuzzy numbers membership function. And then we use mean square error approach to determine the best method for fuzzy queuing model. Move on is the overall data that we observe and we analyze. The table above shows the summary of the data collection for 5 days. And the result shows that the total number of passengers served in 5 days is 1,095 people. The total time of observation is 300 minutes. The number of servers in the queue is 2. The average arrival rate that we calculated is 3.65 and the average service rate is 9.125. And then we implement the lambda and mu that we get into the SW algorithm. For step 1, we select alpha cut value where it is including between 0 and 1. The alpha cut represents the possibility of LQ, LS, WQ and WS will lie associated in range. For step 2, we find the intervals in the input membership functions that correspond to this alpha. 
We take both lambda and mu as trapezoidal fuzzy number because the value of lambda and mu are in decimal. The interval represented as A, B, C, D. For A and D, it represents the minimum and maximum number of customers arrive and serve per hour respectively. From the equation 15, we using the interval that we get to define the membership function for lambda and mu as shown. We let the lambda in terms of x and the mu in terms of y. For step 3, we use the standard binary interval operations to compute the interval for the output membership function for the selected alpha cut level. With the function x and y that we obtain, we apply division in interval arithmetic form as in equation 4. Lastly, we repeat step 1, 2, 3 for different values of alpha to complete all the alpha cut representation of the solution. With the alpha cut representation, we calculate LQ, LS, WQ and WS using Qwin performance measures formula. We implement our data into ranking function method. Firstly, consider the trapezoidal fuzzy numbers into this function. And then use the same value of arrival rate lambda and service rate mu as shown below. And the range for W used is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1. Move on is the step for ranking function method. For step 1 is calculate the left and right ranking index as in equation 6 and 7 for W equals to 0 0.1. And then repeat the calculation for W equals to 0 0.2 until 1. For step 2, substitute left and right ranking index in the formula as in equation 5 for W equals to 0 0.1. And then we calculate it, and we get the lambda for ranking index is 0 0.5, and the mu for ranking index is 1.025. And then step 3, substitute the value obtained from left and right ranking index into the performance measures formula for W equals to 0 0.1. For step 4, repeat step 3 for different values of W as mentioned before. From the performance measures obtained from both models, that is the SW algorithm and ranking function method, we validate and verify the results using mean square error approach. The least value of mean square error is chosen as the best method. Thank you for listening. That's all from me. And we will continue the next presentation by next presenters. Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is... Nur Rashida Binti Ruslan and I will wrap this presentation with the results on discussion, conclusion and recommendation. This is the results performance measure for the SW algorithm and this is the results performance measure for ranking function method. This is the summary results for both methods performance measure. As you can see, the SW algorithm produced the performance measure in terms of interval range while ranking function method only produced a single value. As for discussion, this table shows the summary results of mean square error MSE for both methods. As you can see, for LQ, the MSE value for ranking function method is lower compared to the SW algorithm. But for the rest of them, which is LS, WQ, and WS, the MSE value for the SW algorithm is lower compared to ranking function method. As the results, the lowest MSE value is the SW algorithm. In conclusion, the SW algorithm is chosen to be the best method in evaluating the fuzzy queuing performance compared to ranking function method. MSE approach shows that the SW algorithm's performance measure are the lowest. The SW algorithm uses alpha cuts values from 0 to 1 and obtain different interval range, while ranking function method only produces a single value of performance measure. Thus, our objective to conduct this research is achieved. For recommendation, KTM should hire more staff to serve the customers on each counter and they should implement cashless top-up through online to shorten the long queue at the counters. Besides, it is recommended for people who want to do future researches on this topic to apply the SW algorithm in evaluating the fuzzy queuing performance to obtain better and accurate results. Lastly, collecting data for a longer time period is also recommended as some unexpected and infrequent situations may occur during the collection of data, such as the pandemic of COVID-19, which affect all the transportation to be closed down for a while and causes the queues at the train ticket counters to be shorter than the usual. That is all from me and my group. Thank you for your time. Assalamualaikum.